Hi guys, how are we? So this week I am going to be using Layla Lemon. This was last week's release, but it is still up on the website right now. Although once the off the Fiber Friday offer has gone, you can still purchase the sheets, just not at the reduced cost. So this week I'm going to be talking about a lot of things. And I also feel like I've brought every, like I've thought about what I'm going to say before I actually start to say it which may go as planned may not go as planned that was the wonkiest sticker i've ever stuck down um but yes i am going to talk about the advent release this year because that is coming up on the 25th i'm going to be a lot more careful as i stick this sticker down so that the top isn't completely wonky there's also some changes happening, which I'm very, very excited for. So we're going to talk about those. This is our last summer kit, by the way. So next week we are going into autumn. So things are going to, you know, get brown and like cosy. And I can't wait. Summer seems to have lasted a while, but also just... It's not very summery, is it? Although the sun is out today. But yesterday, I don't know if you saw my stories, I went for a walk and just got absolutely, like, not even drenched. It was worse than drenched. I have never been so wet in my life. But it was funny, I guess. Right, anyway, on to the advent calendar. So, for the past, I want to say five years, but that makes me feel quite old. Um, although we've been doing this eight years now which is just ludicrous and thank you so much because when I started I did not think this would be like a whole career and it totally is but advent calendars advent calendars have been gonks it's been the gonkmas box for it may even be six years but five or six years and that is great I feel like I need to say I do still love gonks however there's just more I want to do. So this year's box is based on fresh starts, which I really like. Sorry, I'm also like trying to work out what I want to put down. Um, yeah, so this is all about fresh starts, building the life you love, goal setting, planning. There's going to be some gonks in there. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to be completely like, no, we're done with gonks, but it is not going to be a whole box of gonks. I will be releasing the images, oh my goodness, maybe today actually, because it's a week away, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going to put the, <laughs> better add that to my to-do list, um, I'm going to put the images up today for the advent calendar, no pressure there, and that will release at 7.30 on the 25th of July. It is gonna be a much smaller drop this year. Um, just because I, you know, it's a quiet time. I think this year is hard for a lot of people and I don't wanna buy in the stock for a hundred calendars and then have to <laughs> deal with that. So I think I'm just being realistic when I think we're not gonna do as many this year which is fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. I'm really excited about it. Like in my head, I'm, I've got a lot of it mapped out and it's going to be fun. But the theme is going to be fresh starts and building, building your life how you want it to be. And it's not going to be, so we never ever do boxes that are like just for Christmas it is all year round stuff there will be seasonal stuff in there so we might put some winter stuff but we'll also put some summery stuff you know what I mean we put you can use it all year round it's not just for the one occasion I thought I'd put the wrong day down then so yeah I will put um I will put a quote in the a quote a note in the comments saying when that's going to happen and then what else did I want to tell you? So I've also, I'm being, so we go away on honeymoon, so don't we? Like, oh my God, it's three weeks and I actually still have so much to do. So I am like trying to clear out old stock, like on such, uh, like harder than I've ever done. I just want to leave 
and know that things are done. So there's lots of leftover stock going on the website. So we have a few of the sticker packs left that we took to, I don't know why I've like lists on my finger, that we took to Planifest. They're like little double-sided things and you always get something else in them. Um, so these are gonna go on the website today. Yeah, today, I'm giving myself so much to do. They're gonna go on by Friday. Let's not like push myself too much. We also have the leftover stock. So I made some washi stands for Planifest. These are the washi stands. Do you see what I mean when I say I brought stuff today? So these are just, I love these. I have one on my desk and you can just, I can't really show you it lying down. But what we have of these, I think we have six left, maybe seven. I actually can't see to guarantee that is the right thing, but there is just a few left. And once they're gone, they are gone. I'm not saying we're never ever gonna release them again, but I don't have plans to at the minute and especially not in the style that we have done them. So if you want one, this is your moment. What else have I got lying around? We have buy four, get one free on the vinyl stickers. I had to think then, I was like, I can't remember what the actual offer is. But yes, it's buy four, get one free, and that's automatic. So you don't have to type in a code or anything. You can literally just add them to cart, check out, and it will automatically calculate that. That will run for a while, <laughs> um, probably until the 1st of August. Now, with the website, I am going to be leaving it running while I'm away. There's going to be big, like, disclaimers saying I'm not posting until September um, because I'm not posting until September. But the website does have to stay open because, you know, I have bills to pay. So, but it won't be the shipping that you are used to because we try and get everything out and we normally do get everything out within a week. Our shipping time is up to two weeks, but it's it's normally like Black Fridays and and sale times that we hit that kind of time length. Um, but yeah, so it will be going up to a four week shipping period just for the month of August. And then we are back to normal. I said that that first week I'm going to be like crazed but I mean I hope I'm going to be crazed <gasps> can you imagine if nobody orders for an entire month and I come back and I'm just like mm. loads of time on my hands yeah please please order um I'm gonna do the weekend somewhere else this week I don't know where I wanted it to be um like more blank in the middle this week am I regretting that now I don't know so this is the last week before school goes back. So it's gonna be, it's, it's not, I don't know, it's gonna be chill. It's not gonna be chill, it's gonna be manic because I'm gonna have to run around like a blue ass fly sorting out school uniform. Like I've already thought about this and I know I'm not gonna do it before I go away, which is, well, I don't want to either because I just think they're gonna grow. But now I've given myself like three days when we come back to do all the school uniform. I'm hoping the oldest two, their stuff just still fits. It probably won't, but I'm hoping that. Um, but Delhi goes up to key stage two, so she's going to need a whole different uniform. Yay. But it is what it is, isn't it? Like, it'll work out, I'm sure. I don't, I'm, what, what am I even going to do? I never do anything on the weekend, do I? I'm like, why have I left so much space? I might put a to-do for, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a... Although this was going to be my to-do list. Oh, I don't know now. I'll work it out when I um when I get to the week, I'm sure. But yeah, I just think it's going to be manic this week. It's manic this week as well. So I'm men mentally, I'm not mentally, I'm physically trying to get everything sorted for before we go. So that means doing like six fiber fridays and i'm i always want to get ahead on fiber fridays but realistically i'm like one ahead every week so getting six ahead is just it's asking a lot but i can do it i can totally do it i have to do it like there's no choice is there and that's sometimes how i work best is just when 
you don't have a choice. It has to be done. It has to be done this week because the kids break up on Friday and there's going to be no time after that ends. I need to get teacher gifts today and I'm just feeling like really uninspired. Like normally I make stuff, but yeah, I just, I like stuff that they can use. Like I don't want notebooks of my normal go-to. I'm like, here, have a notebook with your name on. You will love this. Um, but I'm just really like unprepared this year, which I was gonna say is not like me. It is like me. Normally I'm mentally prepared and then I end up doing it the day before, but I'm, I just have no ideas. I'm going to have to go shopping this week anyway, so. So hopefully I'll see something. Maybe I will just see notebooks. It's really hard. I miss Paper Chase for just going in and being like, this is pretty. I can customise this. Right, so I definitely want more yellow down here to kind of balance it out. I am regretting this square right now, so I wonder if I can just add a little bit of colour here to block it out. So, have you seen that everyone seems to be talking about next year's planners? Oh my goodness. So, I don't normally think about next year's planners till September. Which, to be fair, I feel like we're nearly in September. But it just seems to be like a bit of a, a craze right now where everyone's just planning. I don't know if like some people have released next year's planners. Um, obviously, I use an undated, so I never really like keep track on when stuff comes out but it did totally get me thinking about what am I going to need use next year and I think I'm going to do a whole YouTube video when I've actually like completely made my mind up but I think I know what I'm going to do and I am very very excited about what I'm going to do so I'm definitely still keeping the bullet journal because this is this just encompasses everything I need in a planner. Like, I love that I get to be creative. I love that I can use sticker kits in it still. Um, so I was always overwhelmed with a bullet journal thinking I needed to draw stuff and I don't have time to <laughs> draw stuff every week. But I do have time to stick stuff in every week. But I also miss like the journal inside of it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my bullet journal, this bullet journal is just like, a giant to-do list, which is great. It totally keeps me on track, but I miss like the Passion Planner daily vibes um, of just forcing myself to, well, one, write down some feelings because I think it's always really good to get your feelings out and on paper, but also just like having a moment every day to just sit and reflect. And maybe it's better to be grateful daily instead of, on a weekly kind of basis. So I'm going back to a daily. I think I'm gonna use a Scribbles That Matter. Um, what size is this? This is B6, isn't it? This is B5, this is B6. Or this is B5 and this is B6. I never know with the Bs, ever. But either way, so I'm gonna use this size as my weekly and then I think I'm gonna use this size as my daily. And I'm not gonna be like massively Oh my gosh, I've missed a day. But I am going to try really, really hard to do it daily and just force myself to be a little bit more creative. Um, What else did I say? I, there was more stuff I wanted to get off my chest. This is my therapy this week. Um, no, it's not my therapy at all. <laughs> Uh, although I must admit the planner community is great for that. I don't want that there. I just think I want more yellow down here. But what, what do I want? Do I want to put a big bit in? Do I want, maybe I want to put that. I'm down with that. Yes. And then I'm going to just overlap it to like tie those edges in a bit neater. This is the one thing I love about like when stuff doesn't go perfectly is just overlapping it to give it some cleaner lines. 
I haven't used flags in a while and I feel like, do I want to use flags? Do I want to use flags? No. I should put my, um, these little ones are what I use for the menu every week. Just because I rarely print out menu stickers now. So, hmm. this was going to be my grateful section though, wasn't it? I wonder what this section's going to be. I want to draw. I just want to get back to like drawing more in my planners, which is what I think I'll do in the dailies. That's what I was saying. Sorry, I've gone off on a tangent, which is what I always do. I apologise. So, yes, I'm going to use two scribbles that matters planners. I always find that I write, I get proper, like my words get stuck in my mouth over that. Um, two scribbles that matter planners. One is gonna be exactly the same as this, although less gonks, cause we are definitely scaling down the gonks next year and getting back to just something for everyone. Um, and I just wanna, I wanna draw some new stuff. Then I'm gonna do a daily and then I think I've shown you these. I have the adventure books, I want to say by Nicola Prentergast. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right. I will have to double check that. So I am an affiliate for her and I absolutely love, like I have both her travel journals. I have like the expensive one and then the less expensive one. Um, the bigger one I use for when I've been somewhere, but I'm also going to use the smaller one for like almost like a bucket list. So we're going to Amsterdam for a day before we go on the trip. So I'm currently like bucket listing that right now, but I want to bucket list like more places and then hopefully go more places. I think I'm going to leave this like this. Although I am just, I don't know. It just seems quite empty there. Although maybe if I just, um, no, I've changed my mind. I've seen some strips. I love the strips. The strips make me really happy. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to bucket list one and then journal one. And then I'm going to have, in fact, you know what? I'm going to have three skibbles that matters planners this year. I'm also going to have one that's not a yearly planner, but is just a ongoing forever list. Because I keep on finding like that I want to write down like films I want to see. And I actually don't watch a lot of films and I just want that list to just carry on forever. So do you know what I mean? In fact, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do like a sample page and then I will just come and show you what I mean with that. But five planners next year, which seems a massive jump from the one I'm currently doing. But yeah, so this is Layla Lemon. I think that is exactly how it's going to end up being. I will use some yellow highlighters to like fill in this gap. I may even put some more green in here or maybe even... A bit of pink, because there is pink on some of these. That might tie it in nicely. But yeah, so to quickly summarise, 25th of July, Advent calendars go on release, and it is going to be a small drop. And check out the website for the overstock section, which I'm going to put on the front page if I haven't already. And that is going to have the stuff that we just do not have a lot of. I hope you have a great day, and thank you so much for watching.